Hi guys, welcome back guys for cooking. So don't be surprised that thousands of Argentina go to the bus to listen to the Quran and this always happens. So let's check it out. This time, Islamic Secrets will reveal the story behind the large number of Argentines who flock to mosques. Argentina is one of the southern countries of South America and the country with the second largest area after Brazil. This country has quite large population growth, namely 0.93%, so that this year the population reached 46 million people. Quoted from Findesian, from this population, the community is divided into several religious groups, namely Protestant Christians, Evangelicals, Roman Catholics, as well as Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons. Of the several percentages of adherents of these religions, the largest percentage is Christian, and the lowest is Islam. Even though the percentage of Islam in Argentina is the lowest, now the Western world's interest in Islam seems increasingly unstoppable. As seen in Argentina, they are willing to queue to get real information. This view was seen at the King Fahd Mosque, Argentina recently. Many people are curious about Islam, so the number of visitors must be regulated in such a way. After further investigation, it turned out that the mosque management held several agendas related to Islam, which attracted interest to the point that several groups were forced to queue to enter the area inside the mosque. Many of them were curious and wanted to see directly the prayer activities being carried out and the activity continued with a short study of Islamic teachings, which closed with a question and answer session. Suddenly, Argentine players immediately flocked to take advantage of this opportunity. The mosque administrators initially explained the basic principles of Islam, starting from the pillars of Islam, the pillars of faith, and other matters related to divinity. Then the mosque administrator also explained that Jesus was a prophet who had a special position in Islam, including that his mother was believed to be a holy woman. On that occasion, one of the Argentinian women asked the mosque administrator whether Islam also has leaders like the church. No, we only have Allah and the prophet Muhammad saw. All Muslims are the same, said a sheikh who attended the activity. He then explained that the sheikh was a guiding teacher in Islam. He is the same as a teacher. Sheikhs in Islam are the same as other normal people. They can marry. They can have a family. It's not like in Catholicism where you can't marry a priest or nun, he said. All prophets married and had families. The prophets and apostles are the best people in the world. We follow their guidance. There are no holy people in Islam, he continued. Another question that Argentines also ask is why do you have to take off your shoes when entering a mosque? The mosque administrator said that the mosque is a place of worship that must be kept clean because this carpet is a place to prostrate on it. We prostrate here, explained Sheikh. He also emphasized that worship in Islam is very easy and simple. Prayers can be done anywhere, not only at the mosque, but also at home, on the street or elsewhere. In this country where the majority of the population is non-Muslim, quite a lot of people are curious about Islam, so it is not surprising that the mosques there are open to the public and are almost always crowded with non-Muslims. On average, they want to see Muslims worship directly. In fact, many of them are finally interested in embracing Islam. In general, they are interested in converting to Islam because they feel peace and tranquility within themselves after seeing and hearing the actual explanation of the teachings directly. Islam According to the CIA World's Fact Book, in 2004, of Argentina's population of 39,144,753 people, only 2% adhered to Islam, namely around 782,000 895 people. The rest were Roman Catholics, Protestants, and Jews. Meanwhile, Roman Catholicism is the majority religion in the country, which is famous for its tango dance. However, according to a report by a daily newspaper in Argentina, Clarín, Argentine citizens who have recently converted to Islam have now increased to 900,000 people. And
And if you add up the Muslim immigrants there, there could be more than 3 million people. Thus, the estimated Muslim population in Argentina increased from the original 700,000 to now more than 3 million people. The increase in the Muslim population in Argentina is recognized by the Center for Islamic Studies in Argentina, Centro de Estudios Islamicos, an institution that focuses on Dawah and the study of Islamic culture in Argentina. This institution states that in this century, the Islamic religion has developed rapidly in Argentina. The indication is the increasing number of followers of the Islamic religion. That was so beautiful. I really enjoyed everything. The fact that more people are eager to learn about Islam, they want to know more about the religion, and the questions they all asked are one of the questions that have always been in my mind before I started reacting to Islam. I always say, why do they remove their shoes before praying? So that means you need to look neat and you're going to pray to God, sure you don't need to enter with your shoe. You get, that, that, was, that, that was really beautiful. Like I love the questions they asked. And about the leadership, I like the fact that they said, okay, what of the sheikh? Are they not leaders? Like the other religions that they have leaders in their religion. So other sheikhs, don't they have a special position? Do they do the normal things other, you know, members of the mosque? do i don't know if i can support them members so i just love the questions they ask how islam is really taking over that country and it's amazing that people want to learn they want to some people are they go there to learn so some people will learn and at the end of the day they will convert to islam it's just beautiful it's just beautiful i love the questions they all asked if they all asked and it was mind-blowing talking about them being equal you can marry not like catholic churches catholic they you you can marry as a nun you can marry as a father you know forever father that is also in islam it's just a low lot a whole lot i really enjoy watching this guys beautiful beautiful mind-blowing thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one